they locked the gates? They said that Ross was trying to perform, but the gates were locked. Oh, shit. Could not. I didn't have control of the gate. I think the security locked the gate. What exactly happened? I touched the gate. What exactly happened? I just stood in front of the gate. <laughs> <laughs> and told the driver of the vehicle, turn around and take him back to his hotel. Then when they told the police, sir, you got to get him out the way, the police came and said, you got to move. And I said, no, I don't. Got a hundred men out here, 60 of them armed, half of them licensed. If you don't tell that vehicle to turn around and go, before it get through me, I'm gonna put CNN on that corner for six days. Now, you're gonna get asked later, as a sergeant, what happened? And I'm gonna tell my side of the story too. And it's gonna be that I gave you an option Sergeant, <laughs> to make this all go away. And the sergeant turned around and said, y'all get this vehicle the fuck out of here. <laughs> and we went home. That was it. Y'all just heard that audio. Here it is, an almost 50 year old man telling another almost 50 year old man that it's a no fly zone. If you don't call me, you can't come to my city. Sound like some groupie shit to me. Sound like some girl shit to me. Why are you so-called gangsters and thugs so factuated will transpeak to another man? I won't be around him. And if I can't be around him, I'm going to turn into the bully and I'm going to put it all on the line. Y'all hear the audio? Do y'all hear how dumb and how stupid a lot of these so-called big homies, gang members, thugs sound? You gonna put it all on the line. You gonna leave your children, your grandkids, you know, your best friends, your families. You gonna put it all on the line because another grown man didn't call you to come to quote unquote your city. Here it is, and then the police tell you, man, get on that way, man. You tell police. Oh, uh, nigga, if you don't tell that truck to turn around, I got I got 60 men, 30, 60 of them armed, 30 of them licensed. Do you hear how stupid it is? You're going to tell the sergeant this. I'm going to put CNN on the corner. For what? Why are you trying to, why are you trying to, why are you trying to harm Rick Ross? Because he didn't call me when he came into the city, huh? So y'all don't have no other business beside that. Well, wasn't no drugs, though? No. He didn't hit your mama? No. He didn't rape your daughter? No. He didn't disrespect you? No. So you're going you gonna to put 60 men in harm's way to kill one man because he didn't call you. Do you hear how stupid black man sound? Here it is. You got 60 men ready for Rick Ross, but y'all ain't have 60 men for George Zimmerman. Y'all ain't got 60 men for when these racists kill young black boys. Y'all ain't got 60 men for, for, for the drug dealers in the hood. Y'all ain't got 60 men for all those people who are moving crack, cocaine, heroin, pills, molly. Y'all ain't got 60 men for them to clean up the neighborhood. But you got 60 men for, for a man who's trying to provide for his family and ain't did nothing to you? That's why I need y'all, man, to understand and realize where the black man's mind is. This man's I'm damn near 50 when this shit happened. Pure foolishness, pure fool. And then we wonder why the justice system and these police deal with young black boys the way they deal with them. You, you talking about you, the big homie. You acting just like the little boy on the block. Uh, you can't come on my block. Nigga, how many houses do you own on the street? None at all, but it's your block. How would it? How is it your city and you don't own 90% of the city? But you got 60 men ready to harm somebody for nothing. And yeah, I know this is an old event. 
But we got to bring this back up, man. And we got to realize where a lot of these boys, man, be at, man. They be on pure foolishness. It's his kid shit. And at the end of the day, this is why we don't respect gangs. Because gangs are quick to hurt another black man. But when it comes to when it comes to getting those same those same hundred goons, 200 goons, y'all quiet when it comes to the real shit. All these gangs all about fuck the police and we don't kill all rats and all this shit. But when some shit go down, none of these gangs are in sight. None of them. These black boys only want to go to war with other black boys. You ain't going to do nothing to nobody else. And this is why all that shit's bullshit. We want to talk about gentrification, but the gangs and, 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 old, and old boys like this are the ones causing the gentrification on our own people. Not the white man. I, I don't see no I don't see no Hispanics telling a black man you can't come in here because you didn't call me. I ain't, I don't see it. I don't see the white man doing that. He got 50 people, 60, 60 people ready to put their life on the line. All over a phone call, all, all over because somebody didn't stroke your ego. <clears throat> this is a foolishness, man. 50 years old, ready to put it all on the line. And this is how a lot of these young boys think. They'll put it all on the line about a color or about a street or about a game. And that's how you know a lot of these boys don't truly love their family. They don't love their kids. They ain't got no respect for nothing. And this is why when a judge gets you in that courtroom, she puts you under the building. Because you a dumbass and you have no respect for nothing. How can, how can, a, how can a judge show you respect when you don't even show your own family respect? We ain't respecting that type of thinking over here, man. Y'all gotta stop out. Y'all gotta stop the groupy shit, and y'all gotta leave grown man alone. And I'ma say this: this is the reason why your boy K Flock had a K Flock one of these boys. All that front and all that running up on somebody with that loose rap get you killed every time. I love to see a bully go down. Y'all drop y'all comment. Let us know.